This week, Venus transit was viewable to most of North America. Now, that, what that is, is when Venus passes in front of the sun. It's only happened a few times in history. And now to tell us all about it, from the Venus Institute, Dr. Miller. Oh, thank you for having me. I love talking about this event so oh, much. Oh, well, I can't, can't wait to hear it. Now, now, correct me if I'm wrong, because I, I don't know everything, but it, this is going to happen, the next time this happens is 2117, is that right? You have done your research. That's very good. Yes, that's exactly right. Yes. Wow, it's, it, it's just too bad, because I, I didn't get to see it. I missed it. Uh, I have news for you. You didn't miss it, because I brought a clip of it. What? That's right, yeah. Uh, let's just put on these glasses, and then we can watch it. Oh, okay. okay. All right. Uh, go ahead and play the clip. Look right up here? Right there. Okay. Just right there? <laughs> I'm selling it too much now, I think. <laughs> yeah, you are. You're selling it a lot. Really? Okay, that was not it. Okay. <laughs> that wasn't all. There's more to the clip. Put your glass back. But play the rest of the clip. You, that was just the, the beginning. Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. Same build up again? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but way different result. You sure? Yeah. Because <laughs> it seems like it's about the same. Yeah. <laughs> Did you ever see that show, Work It? <laughs> it was kind of like Booze and Buddies, but... Oh. oh, wow, that sounds like the end of the show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it just goes you know on that for like seven more hours. Let me just say yeah. Doctor, mm -hmm. maybe you should re re rehearse your bits. Uh, maybe I should. Yeah, well, anyway, anyway. The point <laughs> is, the point is... That is not... That was... <laughs> but that was not... Uh, the glasses don't even matter at this point! Look, that was not Venus Transit yes, at all. Yes, it was. The Venus Transit is when Bananarama passes in front of the Earth singing the song Venus. That is not true. Because yes. this has happened throughout history. Yeah, I know. It started in 1639 when it was discovered by a British uh, astronomer named Jeremiah Horrocks who was the first person to see Bananarama across in front of the Earth <laughs> singing the delightful song Venus, which we almost heard twice. Oh, almost! Yeah. Almost, but we didn't listen. Let me tell you something. That cannot be real, because this event has happened throughout history. That's interesting. Uh, which one of us is wearing a very scientific-looking looking lab coat? <laughs> me. <laughs> this song came out in the 80s. It can't be real. Okay, you know what? I don't have time to argue with you. I have to go and witness another astronomical event. Really? Yes. What's that one? Have you ever heard of the cruel summer transit? <laughs> it's really, really good. I don't think anybody's going to hear it, but good luck to you. <laughs> Dr. Miller, everybody! Ah, <laughs> oh, the magic. And finally, <laughs> author Ray Bradbury oh. passed away on Wednesday at age 91. His body will be cremated at Fahrenheit 451. <laughs> <laughs> like that last bit. For Top Story Weekly, I'm Philip Wilburn. Good night. <laughs>